Good morning and a warm welcome to this abbreviated form of morning prayer on Thursday the 4th of June. My name is Joe Dixon and I'm a licensed lay minister at St Stephen's. First some words of David from today's psalm to introduce a time of silence and an opportunity to focus on God our Father. David wrote, I meditate, Lord, on all your works and consider what your hands have done. I spread out my hands to you. I thirst for you like a parched land. And the special prayer for today. Risen, ascended, Lord. As we rejoice at your triumph, fill your church on earth with power and compassion, that all who are estranged by sin may find forgiveness and know your peace. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. And we come now to a time of confession. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, the first commandment is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. In that light, come, let us return to the Lord and say this confession together. Lord our God, in our sin we have avoided your call. Our love for you is like a morning cloud like the dew that goes away early. Have mercy on us, deliver us from judgment, bind up our wounds and revive us. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God, who sent his Son into the world to save sinners, bring us his pardon and peace now and forever. Amen. We come now to our reading from the Psalms and today we read Psalm 143, a cry of David to God for mercy and restoration. Psalm 143. Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness, come to my relief. Do not bring your servant into judgment, for no one living is righteous before you. The enemy pursues me, he crushes me to the ground. He makes me dwell in the darkness like those long dead. So my spirit grows faint within me. My heart within me is dismayed. I remember the days of long ago. I meditate on all your works and consider what your hands have done. I spread out my hands to you. I thirst for you like a parched land. Answer me quickly, Lord. My spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me or I will be like those who go down to the pit. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Rescue me from my enemies, Lord, for I hide myself in you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. For your name's sake, Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. 
in your unfailing love, silence my enemies, destroy all my foes, for I am your servant. Let's pause and reflect with David, bringing to the Lord our own desires for mercy and restoration. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you, Lord, I entrust my life. Amen. Now, if you are able, do join with me in the words of the Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our New Testament reading this morning is from Luke, chapter 9 verses 51 to the end, and tells the cost of following Jesus. As the time approached for him to be taken up to heaven, Jesus resolutely set out for Jerusalem, and he sent messengers on ahead who went into a Samaritan village to get things ready for him. But the people there did not welcome him because he was heading for Jerusalem. When the disciples, James and John, saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call far down from heaven to destroy them? But Jesus turned and rebuked them. Then he and his disciples went to another village. As they were walking along the road, a man said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus replied, Foxes have dens and birds have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. He said to another man, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. Jesus said to him, Let the dead bury their own dead, but you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Still another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me go back and say goodbye to my family. Jesus replied, no one who puts a hand to the plough and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We turn now to our prayers of intercession. And as we look at the news, as we reflect on the impact of the COVID pandemic on our own lives and lives across the world, we have to acknowledge with the psalmist the only source of our help. As he wrote, our help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth, the Lord who watches over us and neither slumbers nor sleep. So let's pray. And let's begin in prayer for the church. Jesus, Lord and Head of your church, we pray for the anointing of your Spirit upon our brothers and sisters across the world. 
in these difficult and uncertain times. Give us all the gift of faith. Help us to discern where you are leading and equip us to follow you faithfully. We pray for the leaders of the church, that you would draw them close to you. We pray for those facing persecution, that you would lend them your strength and give us all your servant heart of love for the world around us and our neighbours, that all we do may point towards you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's now pray for our own nation. God of the nations, as your word directs us, we pray for our land and all those in positions of authority. And Lord, we pray for your undeserved grace and mercy in the face of the ongoing COVID crisis. Give wisdom to all the decision makers and their advisors at both local and national level as they make difficult choices. We pray for breakthroughs in health provision, treatments and vaccines. Lord, be with the doctors and scientists researching ways forward. Lord, we also pray for breakthroughs in the compassionate, wise and just allocation of support and resources for the vulnerable and all those particularly badly affected in, these, in this crisis. We continue to pray for protection, strength and equipping for all the health professionals, carers, and the many continuing to support our communities under such difficult circumstances. And Lord, above all, we cry out to you to heal our land and by your spirit stir hearts to turn to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's now turn to the wider world where there are many people who have far fewer resources than we do here to manage this crisis. Our God, Father of the fatherless and Defender of the weak, we pray for so many across the world facing major difficulties even before the attack of this virus. We pray for areas where war and violence continue, such as in Yemen. Lord, we pray for your word of authority behind the peacemakers and a change of heart for those pursuing and encouraging conflict. For the many struggling in crowded conditions where social distancing and other protective measures are impossible, whether in slums or in refugee and displacement camps. Lord, we pray for compassion and wisdom for leaders and charities in seeking ways to ameliorate conditions and provide resources and protection. For those struggling with additional nat natural disasters, the recent flooding in Bangladesh, the locusts in East Africa, the lack of food in many areas, we pray again for both leaders and charities for generous support and provision. And Lord, for the inequalities and divisions that have led to these situations and many others, we pray your forgiveness and for changed hearts to seek a new way forward that prioritises your ways of peace and justice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, 
let's just take a moment of quiet to bring before God's throne of grace all those we know who are struggling at this time in body, mind or spirit, as well as those wider prayers of our own hearts today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Now let's together gather up all our prayers in the words that Jesus taught us, confident that he listens, he knows our needs, and he does respond. So let's say together, Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And let's conclude this morning saying the words of the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.